all right so today i'm going to be telling you guys how you can get expensive or hyped up shoes for cheap but before we get into that make sure you guys like subscribe follow me on instagram and song of the day obviously i'm gonna have to give it to montero by lil nas x brand new album that just came out go listen to it and yeah let's get into the video so first things first let's point out the obvious shoes are expensive some shoes go up to thousands and thousands of dollars and if you like collecting shoes it can be a very very expensive so obviously it's not smart to spend three thousand dollars on one shoe when you can get so many other ones or even just spend that money on something else or invest which is why it's important to save money whenever you can for example this is the nike off-white blazer this shoe goes for two thousand dollars brand new i bought this shoe for 500 and this is just one example on how i've saved a lot of money with buying shoes Another example I have is the Sean Witherspoon Air Max. I bought those for $450. If you know anything about those, those go for $1,200 to $1,400. So I'm going to be explaining how I did this in this video. So first, let me tell you straight up, I bought these shoes used, which is how I was able to save a substantial amount of money on them. But we're going to go over some things you can do to save money if you're buying a shoe brand new. So let's get into that. If you're buying it brand new, I suggest buying from somebody locally. This way you can negotiate the price. I would say 99% of the time they're going to go off of StockX. But you guys also got to remember if a shoes $300 on StockX are going to end up paying like 340 360 after tax, shipping, and all their fees. So try to negotiate with somebody locally. Chances are they're going to offer 300 so offer 270 or 280 or 290 just to save a little bit extra money. The thing that sucks that if you want to buy a shoe brand new, there really isn't too many ways you can save much money on them. You can trade other shoes, but then at the same time, you're not really saving money at that point. You're just exchanging it for something else, but that is an option out there. But the main way you're able to save money is by buying a shoe that's used. When buying a used shoe, you have to check for certain things i like to check for creases heel drags and the insole i found that those are the best ways to see how used the shoe really is because somebody could just lie and say that they've worn it five times but in reality they've worn it like 20 or 30 times it happens all the time and i know what some of you might be thinking i'm not trying to buy a used shoe that's disgusting which is why i do certain things as soon as i get the shoe in as soon as i get the shoe in i check it and make sure it's in the same condition i bought it in once everything looks good i leave it in the box for two weeks that's only because of the covid precautions i just feel more comfortable doing that when i do that i put little things in the shoe to make sure they smell good and then after the two weeks i just clean them up and they look almost brand new so now that i went over certain things that you should do let's talk about where you can buy these shoes the two best places i found are go and ebay first let's talk about go when you look up a shoe on goat they're gonna have their own section and with goat they're gonna authenticate the shoe so you don't have to worry about that they're also gonna make sure it's in the same condition that they took the pictures in but again just make sure you're checking the shoe thoroughly make sure it's in a wearable and good condition that you would actually like i also want to point out on goat people post steals all the time i bought it for 500 while goes for well over 2000 and other blazers in this condition go for around 800 to 900 dollars easily so this was a steal so people post steals on there all the time just keep an eye out the second best place is ebay ebay is very similar to goat so i'm not going to talk too much on it just make sure it has the authentic guarantee on the shoe one thing i like about ebay a lot more than goat is that you can actually talk to the seller so if you have any questions you could ask him directly and ebay does the same thing like i said they check the shoe and make sure it's all good all right and then the last few places i'm gonna talk about you have to be careful with and i recommend being an adult if you're gonna do this go on offer up facebook marketplace or just again meet somebody locally through instagram or just some other place offer up facebook marketplace and meeting somebody through instagram are all basically the same you have to meet up with somebody face to face so if you're gonna do this please just use common sense don't go by yourself tell somebody else where you're going if you are gonna go by yourself make sure it's in a public location and make sure the guy is not sketchy so if you get a certain vibe just don't do it it's not worth it at the end of the day it's just shoes it's not worth being robbed or potentially being hurt now specifically with these three places you have to be careful when buying the shoes as well because if you're going to meet up with the person you have to actually legit check the shoe yourself so make sure you read up on the shoe and you know what you're talking about when you do meet up with this person that way you can tell that the shoe is 100 authentic on your own so you're going to have to legit check it there really is no way around this if you don't know how to legit check shoes just look up different reviews and look up real versus fake versions and if you can't tell if a shoe's fake or real just don't buy it it's not worth it you might get scammed which by the way that does happen a lot on these certain apps and speaking of scamming let's get into the last place where you can actually find steals that is grailed now grail is very similar to ebay and goat in the fact that they actually sell used sneakers but they don't actually authenticate the shoe and it's very hard to tell what shoes authentic off of pictures now things to look out for on grailed make sure the shoe says 100 percent authentic in the description that way if you find out it's fake later on you can actually return it through paypal that's another thing pay through paypal paypal is very secure and most of the time they actually help the buyer out a lot so if you have any problems and find that the shoe's fake you can easily get it returned through paypal and get your money back so yeah those are 
are the best places I found that you can save a lot of money on shoes. Obviously, there's probably other places I didn't mention in this video. Like I know there's some sneaker stores that are very good, but a lot of people don't have access to them. So that's why I didn't really mention them. Or the sneaker stores near them are just bad. Like where I live, there's a sneaker store that's just a straight up scam. Like they're just overcharging by like $500 on each shoe. Like it's kind of ridiculous. So yeah, those are some things to look out for and basically the best ways to save money when buying shoes. I really hope this video was able to help some of you guys out. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, stay safe, and thank you for watching. Bye.